Hey guys, Dave Schmitz, resistancebandtraining.com. I'm getting ready to go ahead, knock out a little bicep, tricep workout. But before I do, I thought I would give you a little bit of a tip that might help you both yourself when you do this exercise, but also with your clients. You know, the bicep curl is a great exercise, and when you put it in a horizontal vector position using bands, it's a really tremendous exercise from a lengthening standpoint and also from a posture, flexibility, and mobility standpoint. Let me show you what I mean. I've got the bands hooked up here. You'll notice that I have the bands set a little bit below my level of pull. And I do that because I want to get lengthening out, but I don't want to go ahead and over lengthen through my shoulder girdle. So I put the band a little bit lower. You're welcome to go ahead and attach it even lower if you are concerned that people might go ahead and overextend through their elbow and chest and shoulder region. But the reason I like this is, is because in this position, I can get full lengthening of the bicep and to your shoulder and through the chest. I also am going to go ahead and it allows me to immediately set my scapula so I can control that. So when I do the bicep curl, I'm really keeping things locked in and stable through my shoulder girdle. Now the problem with this exercise is this. First of all, people go ahead and they look down and they get into this rounded posture. So immediately they drive their shoulder forward and put it into a more susceptible position to pinch that rotator cuff. So in this position, rounded shoulders, I can't get my scapula involved and subsequently I'm going to go ahead and train a posture that I'm not interested in doing. Second thing, because it's bands and as people fatigue, they have a tendency to go ahead and let the band snap back. Now that's a perfect way to go ahead and overstress the ulnar collateral ligament. And if you have young athletes that are throwers and you're using this exercise, I want to right now recommend that you closely, closely monitor those people because it's very easy for young athletes as they're training hard to just quit and let the band snap them back. In that case, I highly recommend don't use this exercise with any of your throwers because you don't want to irritate that ulnar collateral ligament. The third thing we want to make sure is that people are posturally strong. So, or excuse me, that they are going through a full range of motion. Now what happens is, as they go through, a lot of people will stop right about here. And the reason they do that is they, tr I think, they've trained so long with, uh, with dead weight and very often they do not go through the full range of motion. So what happens is they stop mid-range and come through. If you're going to benefit from this exercise, you need to go through the full range of motion, which means, you, number one, you need to have tension on the band so that it pulls you into this position. Number two, you need to let those elbows completely reflex, but you don't want to go ahead and turn them in, so you have to really crank and come through. That's going to overextend the lateral compartment of your elbow, probably lead to some lateral epicondylitis. The other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to go ahead and open way up because now that's going to challenge your medial collateral ligament. So again, all exercises have their downfalls if not done correctly, and this exercise, as great as I like it and as much as I enjoy doing it, it has some challenges that you have to be careful with. So again, keep the hands neutral, don't let them turn out, don't let them turn in, and go ahead and make sure the elbows stay behind, hands come forward. Elbows stay behind, hands come forward. Now keep your eyes up, keep the chest out, and really lengthen as you let the band take you back. This is where you're going to start getting your maximum accomplishment, maximum results with this exercise. Now, if you want, you can take the band and attach it at a higher position. Let's go ahead and just slide it way up to the high position up here and lock it down so it stays up there. Now, by sliding it up there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also maximize even more length because now the band is pulling me up as well as just back. So, I like that position but I make sure that I really lock my scapula in and I really control the movement. This is not an exercise that you want to do in a reactive fashion by letting the band pull you back quickly. You don't want to do that. It's just too risky on the elbow and it also puts too much pressure on the anterior shoulder if you go ahead and allow it to go back quickly. So this is an exercise that is really kind of an isolated bicep exercise 
where you're just controlling it, coming out quickly. Controlling it and squeezing quickly. And really making sure that you get a nice solid squeeze at the end of that range of motion. Hope that little tip has helped you with this exercise. Guys, it's a great exercise, but you gotta do it correctly. You gotta keep that posture. You gotta go through a full range of motion, all right? And you have to control the eccentric phase. Do those three things, and I think your clients and yourself are gonna really enjoy this exercise.